name is Verveen. Welcome to my channel. Today I bring you another haul video and I feel super lame about it and I wanted you guys to know that. I feel super lame about doing another haul video despite the fact that my haul videos are doing really well and you guys seem to really like them and I actually was talking to one of my coworkers about doing this particular haul video and she sounded really excited about it and I still feel lame about it but I think it's just because I feel like I've done other haul videos recently and I know that I can provide more like informative and discussion worthy content for you guys and that's what I really want to do but also this is kind of a personal accountability journey for me being able to put out so many videos every so often and I'm kind of experimenting with a secret schedule that I haven't told you guys about. Anyhow, what is this haul? I went to sushi and after I went on a little sushi date with my boyfriend, Sean, who's awesome, we went next door to Kinokuniya, which is a bookstore. Kinokuniya Books is right next to Kuro Sushi. And I spent a very long time in this bookstore and most of the things that I picked up I did put back um, I still managed to spend like more money than I intended to but um, I tried to stay away I, I, I really did try to spend money only on things that I thought were worth it there were a lot of $20 small journals that I put back I could easily have spent way more money there than I did, but as I am but a lowly service industry worker, um, I try not to spend too much time in bookstores and crystal shops. My channel content lately is evidence that I'm not doing too great a job of staying away from those places. But anyway, let's get on with the haul. Uh, the first thing that I got, which is maybe the, the, the most exciting thing, maybe it's the one that I've... I've already used two of the things in, I've already used maybe three of the things in this haul, but um, it's because they're so good and I'm so excited about them and they're doing the thing that I got them for. And the first one is, I'll stop teasing you, it's this beautiful new journal which you've maybe already seen on my morning ritual. It says Alice in Wonderland on it and it's super, super cute. It's got this lovely little gold detailing on the cover and then the back has the white rabbit on it and the super cute floral design and I love all the pages have pink edges and it's a lay flat binding which is just my favorite so if you open it pretty much anywhere um, it will pretty much lay flat without giving you too much trouble which makes it really easy to write on and really easy to like read from if you're um, playing music or whatever I don't know it's 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 great it's one of my favorite binding technologies and it's on this journal which I purchased from Kinokuniya books for only $10.99 as you can see also look at these super cute end pages with the, all the playing cards they make me happy maybe this will be the background for the video I thought Wonderland was a good place to kind of wonder and wander and write down some of the things that I wonder about and just allow myself to, to be free and do some free journaling. I feel like I maybe have gotten too much into the habit of dedicating journals to specific purposes and then like not feeling like I can live up to the purpose or the intention of the journal and so like not writing in it. I thought okay if it's like Wonderland I'm gonna give myself complete permission to just put whatever in it. I've actually mostly been journaling on, I did some writing exercises with Sean and I've been doing some journaling on the questions for the Modern Muses Oracle which I am submitting to and which I recommend that you look into. It's a super cool project uh, and that's basically what I've been using this for and I've been writing in it. I don't know if you see this beautiful green ink. I've been writing in it with this Pilot Varsity pen in, in, I don't know, green. We'll just say green. And let's see, what did I pay for this? Varsity Green, $3.99. So I paid $3.99 for this pen. But I have, I, so I already have a relationship with the Pilot Varsity pens in black. Let me just show you the awesomeness that they are. I may have to splice this in from the other side, but... 
Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a fountain pen tip, um, but it's a disposable pen, and it just, it writes so nicely. I really like the ink for journaling, um, I really like it for doodling as well, if you've got good paper for it, um, and I love writing in green ink ever since I was a kid, just because Hogwarts letters come in green ink. I, green ink has always felt super magical to me. Also, I just really like green. Who doesn't like green? It almost, it's like the color of life. So I've been journaling in this with this pen um, in the Wonderland Journal, and that's but like having these materials has also been keeping me motivated to write. Because who doesn't love writing in green ink in an Alice in Wonderland journal with gold detailing on the front? I love doing that. So that's motivating for me. Anyhow, I did get a few other pens, so I'll show you those now. They have kind of like an open pen display where you can test out all the different pens. So I definitely tested out all the different colors of the Varsity pen. They had like a blue and a purple and a pink, and I kind of wanted to get them all, but I kind of had a budget, so I kind of didn't. I totally didn't. But I did get three colors of these highlighters because they're the most genius highlighter that I've ever seen. And these were $1.95 each, so not bad at all. And they did have this one in the white body, but I liked the pink body better. And like the, it looked like they were just in the middle of switching designs. Um, and the, but the, the pink body one, pink one versus the white body pink one, I actually liked the color that this one wrote in a little bit better. Um, but let me just show you what's so genius about these highlighters. They're double-ended, for one, so they're highlighter tips on this end. Highlighter ink throughout, but it's the broad, wide tip on this end, and then a fine point tip on this end. But on the highlighter end, they have like a, a, a cut-out clear core so you can see through the highlighter and you can stop highlighting at the correct place in your text. If that's not the most brilliant thing that I've ever seen in a highlighter, I don't know what is. Also, you can see my eyeball. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. And again, those were $1.95 each. I still have the price stickers on them. I'll need to get those off, but whatever. Anyhow, the last pen that I got, and I haven't even tried this one out yet, um, is called a seven year pen, and it's by Seltzer. And it says Swiss made for fun and function. And uh, it's just got this moon pattern on it, which I thought was super cute. They also had a constellation pattern one and um, I just liked this one better. So it says on the back, high quality, medium tip, super smooth black ink, enough ink to write 1.7 meters a day for seven years. And then there's an asterisk for a footnote and at the bottom it says, for best performance, avoid writing on plastic coated paper and twist shut after use, longevity will vary. So longevity will vary but enough ink to write 1.7 meters a day for seven years. Hence the name of the pen, seven year pen. Um, and then it says large capacity ink cartridge slash refillable and colorful variety of collectible styles. So I guess those are their selling points. It says on the back also www.seltzergoods.com. So if you wanna know where you could find more about them, that might be a good start. So it looks like it just twists open and shut. Very nice clicking action. I really, really like this moon design on here. I don't know how long that'll last, but we'll see. And let's see how this writes. Okay, so actually like really smooth right out of the box bag. I'm really liking the solidness of that ink. Um, I mean, it had, you know, it took, what, half a centimeter to get started? That's fine. Um, yeah, I would say this is pretty good. Will it write for seven years? I don't know. Anyhow, I definitely paid $7.99 for this. If it does write for seven years, it's worth it because I am totally the person who has brought 
three pens on a trip only to have all three of them die on me on the airplane. Awful, it's not fun to not have any working pens. And so now I'm that person who's paranoid and always has like 20 pens in their purse. Um, but if I have a pen that I know will write for seven years, then maybe I can go back to only carrying three pens. <laughs> um, Anyhow, so we'll see. I'll, I'll let you know definitely if it dies sooner than expected, you will be hearing about it. The next thing and the penultimate thing that I got is not a pen, but is a pin. And I think it's super cute. I haven't even opened it yet. It's like a little prize ribbon, but it, and it's by Everyday Bravery Pins. And mine says, gave myself permission. Just like I'm, I, I gave myself permission to do this haul video, and I gave myself permission to spend $9.99 on this gave myself permission pin. So I had seen these online before and wanted them, or like, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like, said no, or like, spoke my needs, or uh, did my best, or still alive, or... Uh, showed up, I think, maybe, I don't know, maybe I made that one up. Anyhow, um, there's a bunch of these everyday bravery pens, and I really liked all of them. I really wanted, like, six of them, but this was the one that I felt most resonated with where I'm at in my journey right now. I'm finding I need to give myself permission to do things instead of waiting for somebody else to give me permission. I think I'm gonna actually put this on my Starbucks apron and it says on the back, it's funny how the things that require the most courage on a daily basis often go unrecognized. Maybe it's time we gave ourselves a little credit. And maybe I'll actually toss in a little clip from work later. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to Starbucks. I did put on my new pin, and I couldn't wait to show you, so here it is on my happy little Starbucks apron. And uh, it's my first non-Starbucks pin in my collection, so, or on my apron anyway, so I'm excited. And then the final thing that I got at Kinokuniya Books, I was so, so, so excited about. Maybe you're not that excited. It's just a rose hand cream. But the really exciting thing about it is that there's no, like, fragrance in it. Um, it's actually made with rose essential oil. And I had been looking for, really, I'm kind of always just on the lookout for rose bath and beauty skincare products, whatever that are kind of more on the natural side, although I'm not super picky, and uh, that have rose essential oil in them instead of rose fragrance, because I know it's hard to come by and it's expensive. Um, and the thing about this, I did pay $7.99 for this little tube of rose hand cream. It says Clem Men, so like hand cream, whatever. A l'huile essentielle. Rose Regenerante, Rejuvenating Rose with Natural Essential Oil, Panier de Saint en Provence. I don't know, I, I can't actually speak French and I'm certain I said that wrong. And so this is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. Yeah, maybe $8 is a lot to pay for hand cream. But I sampled it in the store and I walked around the store. Like I told you, I was in the store for a long, long time. Um, like I had a lot of time to pick a lot of things up and put them back and pick them back up again and put them back. I, this was still, like I still just smelled like fresh roses at, when I left the store and I still smelled like fresh roses when I got home later and I was like, okay, I'm happy with this purchase. <sighs> like if you've never smelled rose essential oil, I mean, it's it's just like really good roses. It's just like really good, really potent roses. And this cream is also like pretty good. And I don't have super sensitive skin, so I'm not the person to tell you whether it'll make you break out or not. It hasn't made me break out. I'm in food service though, so I put my hands in a lot of sanitizer and stuff and that that dries them out and whoo, gosh, yeah. It just, I just, I feel so nice wearing it. I just feel so, so luxuriant. 
luxurious, luxuriant, both terms apply. We'll leave it at that. So that's my haul from Kinokuniya Books. I spent $50.66 total on five pens, one pin, one ounce of hand cream, one Alice in Wonderland journal, partridge in a pear tree not included. And that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're subscribed and you're wondering why you didn't hear about my last video and you wanna make sure that you're always notified every time a new video comes out, make sure that the little alarm bell by the subscribe button is also turned on with the, the sound icons activated around it. Um, and that'll make sure that you get notified every time one of my new videos is out so you don't miss out on that fresh new content. Also, don't forget, you can join me for Morning Ritual just about every single morning on my Instagram, at Vervain and the Roses. Find me there, uh, find the replay all day. Let me know in the comments down below what sort of videos you'd like to see here next and what you thought of this one. I always love hearing from you guys, that never changes. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful, magical day. Mm -hmm.